okay dear students let us see what is there in this uh, question the graph shows the variation of distance r of the electric potential v from a charge capital q and the graph is shown here very perfect we know that the potential is given by 1 by 4 pi f psi naught capital q by small r this is the potential due to a point charge at a distance r away from it so it's the general formula and v is directly proportional to 1 by r so obviously there will be a hyperbola kind of variation and that's exactly that is shown here now what is the electric field strength at distance s what is the electric field strength so you are supposed to find the electric field at s now how to do it okay so there is a formula there is a relationship between electric field and the potential and they are related like this uh, e is equal to negative of minus dv by dr so uh, this formula is given in our books and you might be knowing this thing so we can imagine this thing now what is dv by dr v is the y and r is on x it means dv by dr is the slope of the graph slope of the curve at any point so dv by dr at the point s so it's like uh, just create a tangent here it's there will be a tangent there and so you have to find the slope of this and the negative of this slope so we know that this slope is negative okay because it's moving down the negative of the negative slope will give you a positive value electric field will be positive and this is how we find the electric field okay so uh, D is the area under the graph between s and infinity not at all area no it's not area because if it would be area we will find area by multiplying voltage with the distance and we are not multiplying it the gradient of tangent at s the negative of the gradient so answer is d it is the negative of the gradient now this is known as gradient now here is also there is a little uh, another piece of information i'm going to give we call this thing as gradient when we have um, position in the denominator like it should be like d divided by dr or d divided by dx or y or z and we call it rate if we are having time in the denominator d divided by t it's like the rate of flow or rate of moving uh, dv by dt is the rate at which acceleration is changing ds by dt the rate at which the distance is changing so when we are dividing it by t we call it rate and when we divide it by something position x y z r or something so that is known as gradient that is why they have used the word gradient here okay dear students this is professor varun i hope you like this video please subscribe the youtube channel and also share the youtube channel with all your friends all the best bye